This video is made possible by my patrons on Patreon. Hello everyone, my name is Ziamaro and welcome back to Battle Right. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about how people get into playing games professionally with a focus on Battle Right Pro League, although almost everything I say here will apply to other games too. Quick disclaimer, I'm not a professional gamer, but I do have some experience scrimming with and against people who are. Not just in Battle Right, but other games too. Honestly, I have neither the skill or dedication to do it myself, but I understand enough about getting into it to maybe guide some of you guys. So. The very first thing you need to learn has pretty much nothing to do with actual in-game skill, but I would argue that it's the most important skill to develop if you want to become a professional player. Social skills. Maybe this sounds stupid to you. You might be thinking, surely being good at a game is the most important thing. Eh, kinda. But there are plenty of good players who never end up playing professionally because either they don't work well with other people or they just can't find a team in the first place. If you don't work well with other people, there are 1v1 games like fighters or strategy games, but the majority of big esports right now are team games. So if you want to do well, you're gonna need to work well with other people. For example, you need to be able to give your team constructive feedback without rubbing people up the wrong way. Some people struggle to give feedback at all because they don't want to hurt people's feelings, while others might give feedback in an overly abrasive way that can damage team morale. You also need to be able to take feedback well. Especially if you've been playing a game in solo queue for a long time, you might be used to being the best player in almost every game you play. As soon as you step into a scrim, you won't be the best player in the game this time. You will make mistakes and you need to be able to take criticism well. The second reason you need to have good social skills is to find scrims and teams in the first place. And actually, this is important even if you're playing a 1v1 game. Solo queue isn't a good measurement of how you'll perform in a scrim. Even if you do play against a high level player in solo queue, they might not bring their A game. In a scrim, everyone is trying their hardest, even if they're trying out new strategies. The other thing about solo queue is that you might not get a challenging matchup every time. Playing scrims guarantees you're against someone as good or better than you every game. So then, how do you find a team? The best place these days is almost always Discord. Literally every game with an esports scene will have multiple Discord servers for finding scrims and teams. There's usually a lower tier public server for finding scrims and you can absolutely guarantee there's a private Discord so professional teams can organize friendly games as well. But you'll almost certainly have to prove yourself in scrims and tournaments before you get access to that. A word of warning, no one likes a spammer. Try to engage with the community, don't just spam looking for group. Spamming a server is a surefire way to get put on someone's blacklist. Try and make friends, not enemies. But with that said, for Europe, there is a public Discord server called STR. That might be worth checking out for Battle Right. I'll leave a link to that in the description. It's not as active as it used to be, but there are still people in there of varying levels who are interested in making teams and finding scrims. I'm not sure where North or South American players look for teams and scrims, so if you know of any Discord servers for it, post it down below. Public servers only, of course. Other games like Overwatch have Discord servers for this stuff too. Cow League is a decent one for Overwatch. I'll leave a link to that as well in case you're interested. I'll tell you one thing about Overwatch though. The difference between solo queue and scrims in that game is insane. In Battle Right, solo queue isn't exactly representative of how competitive games go, but in Overwatch, scrims are like a different game altogether. So with that out of the way, let's get into the gameplay stuff. This is the obvious one to work on, and honestly, everyone has their own techniques for improving. However, I will say a few things about this. First of all, don't just spam games. Quality over quantity, guys. If you want to become really good at a game, you want to improve efficiently. If you mindlessly spam games, you can easily pick up bad habits that are way easier to develop than they are to break. In Battle Right, duels can be a really good way to improve efficiently. If you have trouble with a particular matchup, Find someone who is good with that champion and duel them a few times. You'll get better so much faster working that way. If you're trying to improve your general awareness, you can play solo queue, or preferably scrims, but try to focus specifically on that area. If you're already good at the game, everything else can kind of go on autopilot while you work on something you struggle with. We're lucky in Battle Right because we have the Odium. It's really easy to watch your games back afterwards. In other games, you might want to record it using OBS or something like that. But in any case, watching your games back can be quite useful. Honestly, I could talk for hours about improving as a player, and I've actually made a whole playlist for that. So I'll move on to the last section, which is playing in tournaments. 
This is like the culmination of everything that comes before it. You find a team, you scrim, you become a better player, and then you prove yourself in a tournament. If you'd like to play Battle Right more seriously, now is actually quite a good time. There's a series of tournaments happening right now called Rising Stars. It's basically a road into BPL. There's a video explaining it on the official Battle Right YouTube channel, which you can check out. But long story short, you can get into Battle Right Pro League by playing in Rising Stars. I'll leave a link to that down below. Rising Stars aside though, playing in tournaments is kind of the final destination. You need a team, you need to scrim, you need to become a better player. I've always said it's worth playing in tournaments simply for the experience, and it's definitely worth trying out. But if you're looking to become a professional player, you need to find a team you can play and improve with long term. You don't want to play with a team that isn't on the same level as you, but you also don't want to be a team hopper. There's a lot to be said for playing with people you know well. When you know your team well enough, you often don't have to communicate the simple things because you know each other so well, and that frees you up to make more useful calls. So try out a tournament or two, but you should spend most of your energy on finding a team you get on well with. That just about wraps it up for today. I've kind of tackled this from a solo player standpoint, and I could easily make an equally long video just on how to play with and improve as a team, but I'll leave that for another time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please feel free to subscribe for more gaming guides, news, and discussion. If you'd like to help support the channel and get some unique rewards, then head over to patreon.com slash ZMROTV. And don't forget to check out twitch.tv slash ZMROTV. Until next time, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.